I'm Winston Chambers. And if you're watching this film, you're probably concerned, like many Americans, that today will be the end of the world. Well, fear not, fellow citizens. This film covers everything from zombie attacks to hand-to-hand -hand combat with alien invaders to how to make that perfect end-of-the-world cocktail. So sit back, grab a pen and paper, and learn how to survive the end of the world. Picture this. You're going about your daily business, fulfilling the chores of everyday life. And little do you know, zombies are taking over the world. The first thing you should make sure is you know your environment at all times. If you can run, run. No need to fend for your life when you can run for your life. Step one, ladies, lose your heels. Step two, run for your life. Fortunately, she's in her own house and knows the three escape routes. Or, suppose you're at a friend's house, enjoying a stiff drink, and along comes a zombie. The preferred method of escape in such a scenario is referred to as the drink, drop, and run. Picture this. Cocktail party. In walks a zombie. You very simply drink, drop, and run. Notice, another guest was not prepared. She failed to locate the escape routes, leading to her being overcome by the zombie, failing to survive the end of the world. Now you make the scene all day. But tomorrow they'll be held to pay. So the last time the world ended, all I could think was, holy shirts and pants, Winston, you're parched. So here we are, the end is coming. What better way to go out than with a nice cocktail in your hand? Step 1. Obtain the largest container available. Step 2. Gather all the booze. Step 3. Combine. Ice is optional. Remember, when it comes to the end of the world, fancy amenities are not a must. Step 4. Prepare for the end of the world by guzzling. What's that you say? Oh man, no way. Put a lid down on it and everything will be alright. Put a lid on it. Don't hand me that. Put a lid on it. I'm alright, Jack. Put a lid down on it before somebody starts a fight. This time, I gotta get what's mine. Put a lid down on it, and everything will be alright. zombies. Now let's move on to the next scenario. Hand-to-hand -hand combat with alien invaders. Now, as we all know, aliens are fantastic stand-up fighters. You do not want to have to mess with this. But the only logical way to deal with such a situation is to know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Wrap your legs around his head jamming his face into your protective cup. Hold him there until he becomes submissive and respects our race. Here you see our subject putting him into an armbar, snapping it 
at the elbow. If you don't know how to do an arm bar, grab both of his arms and pull until he cries. Here you see our subject mounting the alien, much like he would his girlfriend or wife, pummeling her in the face. Here, from the reverse angle, the subject takes the alien's back, choking him unconscious. If you can't breathe, you're useless. Well, there you have it, folks. How to survive the end of the world. Just remember, be aware of your surroundings, and be prepared for anything life has to throw at you. Until next time, there are bigger fish to fry. I'll be topside. Now you make the scene all day, but tomorrow they'll be held to pay.